how many more years you think LeBron's going to play? And can he continue to play? I mean, he averaged 25, 8, and 7 in year 21. How many more years can he play, and how many more years can he be play at the level at which he's currently playing? I hope he retires soon because I hate it the way I retired because I sucked. Nope. Uh, Jim Brown is really, and he retired because he didn't want to get tired of playing football. And he didn't want to, he, yeah. didn't, he wanted to act. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's like, because he, he wasn't making any money. No. And he didn't want to just kill himself. There's no, it ends badly for every jock. It ends badly for every jock. Getting in is easy. It's to get it out. Know, yes. Hard. And your ego says you can still do it. Because I remember telling myself my last two years, okay, I'm going to get myself in great shape this summer. I'm going to have a good year, then I'm going to retire. Then I rig- figured out, like, playing against air, <laughs> everybody's good against air. <laughs> Everybody is great against air. But when you see another, when that 25-year-old is looking at you like, <laughs> licking his lips, you're like, oh, shit. And, like, there's nothing you can do. Like, when you're working out during the summer and ain't nobody playing defense on you and you in great shape, and but when you see that 25, 27-year-old and he's looking at you like, yep, I used to watch you. Yeah. I'm coming for you. Right. And there's nothing you can do about it. But to answer your question, I hope he retires while he can still play. Mm-hmm. Because, man, I've been there myself. I saw Patrick Ewing his last legs. Saw Michael Jordan playing with the Wizards. Yeah, Patrick. I mean, I mean, Patrick and Orlando. Yeah, Mike and like, Mike. yeah. I was like, that's the greatest player I played against. I don't want to see him doing that with the Wizards. So, uh, I, I I don't want to see any great play when he they they pass their prime. Yeah. So, the greatest. This is. <sighs> the greatest player of all time. It seems to be a two-man race now. Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Nothing, hey, Kareem, Kareem is the most underrated player in the history of the NBA. Yes. He's the, he, he was the all-time leading scorer, the third uh, the third leading uh, 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 rebounder. He won six MVPs, mm-hmm. five championships, and that makes it seem yeah. like the man was, was some sauce. Yeah. Well, I got numbered admiration for Kareem. First of all, the activist he's always been. Yes. You know, I find the, let, let's talk about the Michael LeBron thing. They played in different eras. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, in my opinion, they're right there. You can, it's either A or B. Okay. But I will say this about LeBron. Number one, I like him a lot as a person. Mm-hmm. I think he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Never said that about Michael Jordan. <laughs> he'll, he'll kill you. He'll kill you. I've said there's two things. Uh, it's, I put Kobe right there also, but Michael and Kobe will kill you. LeBron's a nice guy. Right. Michael and Kobe will kill you. Uh, If they played against their sister, she's going to get her ass kicked. (laughs) LeBron, like, he ain't going to beat up his sister. (laughs) But I would say this about LeBron. I think it's the greatest story of any jock who's ever lived. Because if you go back and look about guys who came out of high school, People forget Kobe struggled early. He did. Kevin Garnett struggled early. LeBron James is the only one, because we had his first game. Mm -hmm. I say LeBron James is the only one who didn't struggle right away. Right. He came in and was a good player. He wasn't great, great, great right away, but he was a good player. Right. But also in this generation where everybody's got a cell phone and people out to get you. Mm Mm-hmm. He's never gotten in trouble. He's exceeded what the NBA, any expectations. Any expectations. Whatever you thought he could be. Yeah. And because he was on he was the chosen one yes. on the cover of Sports Illustrated yeah. 17. So whatever you thought he could be. He's just eclipsed it. He's eclipsed it. And and to never get in trouble in this generation. Uh, like I say, you know, everybody's got a cell phone now. People are deliberately trying to get you. Yes. I think it's the greatest sports story ever, in my opinion. Single mom, yeah. he didn't go to college. They gave the keys to a, the franchise to an 18-year-old kid. 
and says, we're only going to go as far as you take us. And like you said, he's been a model citizen, both mm-hmm. on and off. Obviously, the building the brand, Jordan yeah. gave you gave everybody the blueprint. Yeah. And we see Kevin Durant. We see the uh, Steph Curry. We see the LeBron James. Yep. Starting production companies, mm-hmm. being active outside. Give Junior Bridgman some credit, too. People don't know who well, that is. Well, uh, every time I see Junior, I say thank you because Magic is kind of taking over now. Oh, yes. But Junior was a good player, but the, the, his portfolio owning all those restaurants, probably being the first billionaire athlete, to right. be honest with you. Him, Dave Bing, and uh, also is, is amazing businessman. Right. But every time I see Junior Bridgman, like, for a guy who didn't make a ton of money. That's what's so impressive. Yeah. Like, and didn't have the name. Didn't have the name to learn how to handle business. And he's probably got 500 to 1,000 restaurants now. <laughs> And like, does it so low key? Mm-hmm. Does it so low key? Like every time I'm around here, I try to pick his brain, right? Because the one, like, it's it's different now, because these guys make so much money. Yeah, I said back in our day, you, I said, dude, and I and I'm not poo pooing on this either. I want to, I want to make it clear, because you know when I say it, it's gonna sound stupid. The most money I made was five million dollars. Mm-hmm. That was my last year, right? I says now that's <laughs> below. <laughs> the minimum. I says to 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 be a businessman in our day and become a billionaire, you are great at business. Right. You are great at business. And he wasn't a name. People wanted to attach themselves to magic. Yes. People wanted to attach themselves to Mike. Yes. He was Junior Bridgman. Just a great businessman and a good dude. Hey, they that, like. the, here's here's to here's his to me. Is one of the greatest stories ever. And if I was the NBA, mm-hmm. I would bring him in every year to my teams, teams, and say, guys, because what people don't understand, everybody on an NBA team or NFL team ain't making a lot of money. True. Or ain't going to play a lot of years. 10, 50. The average in, in, in both sports, the average year is about four years. Mm-hmm. Those are guys who need a junior Bridgman. Mm-hmm. That's like, you know, I was watching the draft last night. And this always annoys me about young kids. <laughs> you know, I was like, these dudes got Louis Vuitton shirts. Iced out. I, I, and I don't mind a little ice. But too much ice. They got Dior shoes. <laughs> uh, I says, they do know that money ain't going to last forever, right? Get you a pair of Nikes. <laughs> I'm not paying for no Dior shoes. Uh, but you got to be nice. Because no, you had that cranberry suit yeah, on. Yeah. You were nice, Chuck, with that little skinny tie. There's nothing wrong with a nice suit. But I tell these guys, you know, Shannon, when I first was an idiot, when I became got my money. Yeah. I had like uh, three or four cars. And Dr. J says, how many of those cars can you drive at the same time? I said, what do you mean? He says, how many of those cars can you got to drive at the same time? I says, one. He says, well, why you got four? He said, Chuck, this money got to last you for the rest of your life. He says, this money got to last you the rest of your life. He says, son, don't waste all your money on cars. Everybody know who you are. He said, you pull up in a Kia. (laughs) They know, oh, that's Charles Barkley. You pull up in a Mercedes Benz or a Rolls Royce, that's Charles Barkley. But the problem is that money is not the fact that you can't afford that car. Right. It's the fact that that three hundred thousand dollars you spent on that Bentley, if you bought a car for seventy, eighty thousand, you would have had two hundred thousand more in the bank, and it would have been growing and growing, and and in one year, three years, five years, twenty years, that two hundred thousand is going to be worth a lot more. The, the question is, Charles, is that you, when you and I tell sometimes I tell young people, you can afford that car right now at twenty. Will you be able to afford that car at sixty? Yeah, that's the key. There's a 40 year gap in there. Yeah. yeah. But see, the the young guys, they think, like, I always tell them, I say, yo, man, we know stuff. We, like, I ain't trying to hate on no young guy. I'm trying to, because I don't want you to be on that list. What list is that? 80% of professional athletes go broke. I don't want you on that fucking list. Where are they now? Yeah. Well, like, yo, this money, you're 20. Mm hmm. When you're 55, how much money are you going to have left? Mm-hmm. 
That's the key. Special living life. If you live in a lifestyle right now, don't you want to live that lifestyle for the rest of yes. your life? I mean, I don't want to be poor. I've been poor. Hey, I know what it's like to eat hey. raccoon, possum, sardines, vienna sausages, pig ears, pig hey. tails, pig feet. I don't want to eat that no more, Chuck, hey. unless I want to. I don't hey. want to have to eat it out of necessity. Hey, well, listen, I, I, <laughs> I got to have my pig feet. My pig you feet, you still eat pig feet? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I got pig feet. I I, I I get them. I go to a great soul food place here called K and K. Okay. I get me some pig ears. Uh, not pig ears. Pig feet. Yeah. I gotta have my neck bones. You see, I love some neck bones. I love oxtails. Oh, oh, oxtails. That, that's that's their specialty. I love me some oxtails. Yeah, I'm yeah. Messy. You gotta get some yams. You gotta yeah. get some collets. <laughs> Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.